Lesson 7, Jesus' Trial. After they had arrested Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, they took him to the palace of the high priest Caiaphas. There they put Jesus on trial. But it wasn't a fair trial at all. They made up lies about him. They accused him of things that he had never said or done. But in any case, they decided that he was guilty and should be put to death. They didn't have the power to put him to death, so they had to send him to Pilate, the Roman governor. He was the only one that could give that order. And while he was there, they cried, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said, why, what has he done that's so terrible? But they didn't listen. They just yelled louder, crucify him. Pilate finally gave in to the people. He had Jesus whipped. And then a cruel soldier <coughs> made a crown of thorns and forced it on Jesus' head. <coughs> they beat him. They spit on him and they made fun of him. Peter had to see what was going on. And so Peter came into the courtyard and there he sat by the fire that the soldiers had made. The night was cold and Peter was warming himself with them, hoping that no one would recognize him. But it didn't take long before someone realized that. He was a follower of Jesus. Didn't I see you with him? Peter said, no, I don't know what you're talking about, and quickly moved away. <clears throat> it wasn't long before someone else recognized him and said, I can tell by the way you talk that you're a follower of Jesus. You're from Galilee. Peter denied it. He said, I don't know him. I'm not a follower of Christ. And then finally someone recognized him. He was in the Garden of Gethsemane. I saw you there, didn't I? That really scared Peter. And then he really said, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even know the man. And as soon as Peter said that, he heard a rooster crow. And then he remembered the words of Jesus. Peter, before the rooster crows, you're going to deny me three times. And Peter realized what he had done. And he was so ashamed of himself. And he ran out into the night weeping. And he wept bitter tears of repentance. You can't blame Peter too much. I guess we'd all be afraid at a time like that. But Peter thought that he had the courage to stand up for Jesus. And didn't realize that we can only do that if Jesus puts the courage in our hearts. Oh Jesus, don't let me ever deny you, but help me to stay close to you, never to be ashamed of you, no matter what other people say or do. Help me to always confess that I belong to Jesus and he belongs to me.